Yes guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to be doing a tier list. If you don't know what it is, basically you rank things on a scale of like the best to the worst. We have God tier, underrated, overrated, average and discard. Obviously this is in correlation between how good an icon plays in FIFA 21. Has absolutely nothing to do with how good they are in real life. I just want to put that out there as a disclaimer. If I put someone in discards here, it doesn't mean I dislike them in real life because I know that you guys are going to be some really like opinionated people in the comments section. So let's get on with it. If you want to buy cheap ultimate team coins, go and check out igvault.com and use a discount code EGHD at the checkout to get yourself 6% off your order. So the thing is with this website, when you put all of the pictures of all the icons right, they are really small and you can barely see the stats. So what we're going to do is just zoom in a little bit um, so we can see some of the stats a bit closer. Maybe one more notch, there you go. So now we can actually see the pace, the shooting, the dribbling, just in case you forgot of you know their stats. So in no particular order, we're going to start off with what it gives us, which is Baggio. And now I've heard some great things about this Baggio card. I definitely, I don't think he is underrated. Well, actually, he might be underrated because... He's not overrated because he plays so well in game, but he's not good enough to be in God tier. So he's going to have to be in underrated. Balak was literally released yesterday and this is a card I feel like, I don't know if I can say he's underrated because he's been one of those icons that people will go to if they can't really afford Rudhulet, but they still want a player that plays in a similar position, you know, the centre mid kind of role. But at the same time, he's not overrated. So I don't know, maybe he's just going to go into average. Like he's a great player. So yeah, I'm going to put Balak in average. And the reason why is I think he plays average based based on how much he costs in game, which is quite a lot for his card, right? Now, Baresi, for me, you know, if I completed a Prime Icon Moments SPC and this card popped out, I'd be tempted to discard it just because 74 pace for a sense back is not going to cut it. Barnes, for me, is a fantastic player that is a little bit slept on. Um, he's got 92 pace, 93 dribbling, Solid stats, very strong player as well, quite a physical player. I think he's going to go in underrated. Beckham obviously new this year, 84 pace, 90 dribbling. We got his Real Madrid version, which is 86 rated. It's kind of average the way it plays in game. And I think I'm going to put him into the average section as well. It's nice to have him in this game, but with 70 defending, he kind of, he doesn't really fit into like a real good cam spot, but as a center mid, he's not really good defensively. Now, Burkamp, as you guys know, if you've watched any of my reviews and videos on anything to do with Burkamp, I love Burkamp in real life. Yo Last year, he was definitely underrated, but they have nerfed his prime moments card. And I think I'm going to have to put his card into average. Um, you know, the dribbling is really important and so is pace on your attackers this year. 85 pace is just not going to cut it. George Best is definitely going to be in the underrated. Although I don't know if you could say he's underrated because he's been underrated for so long, if that makes sense. But a lot of people would say he's kind of like a cheaper version of Messi or the icon version of Messi. 95 pace, 96 dribbling, 95 shooting. This card is insane. Blanc this year, well, in previous years, Blanc has been like the go-to icon center back that's affordable. So he would have been an underrated maybe last year, but I feel like this year he's going to be overrated. I think as time goes on with this new left back and, you know, full back center back meta, I think if you're trying to play a player as a center back, you need at least like 82, 83 pace minimum if you stand a chance at playing like a good stand in, in weekend league. Buccigreno, now this for me... This is a tough one. I don't know if he's going to be underrated or maybe this is going to be our first God tier card. Now, the reason why he's going to, he could be in a God tier card is because he has that five star weak foot. The problem is I think he has three star skills, which would mean that he can't he can't put a godly player that's an attacker with a three star skill move. So yeah, I've just done my research and the icon moments card is three star skill moves. I'm going to leave this card in underrated, although at the same time, the price of this card is coming in at 3 million coins on PlayStation and 2.4 million coins on Xbox. You know what? Yeah, it's staying underrated. I'd say if that was closer to 4 million, it'd be overrated. We're keeping him in the underrated. So Campbell, do we, where do we put him? I think he's going to play better than Blanc simply because of the pace, but at the same time, his dribbling's not as good. Maybe he's going to go in overrated as well. You know what? I feel like he might be worth putting into average. I think the 83 pace is nice. He's obviously solid. He's very physical, but the ability to not be able to turn the lack of agility and balance is going to put him into the average section. So Cannavaro, another sense back with 83 pace. Last year, all I heard was amazing things about this card, but 
I, as I said, man, it's the, the the new meta. I can't I can't see myself putting many centre backs this year above uh, overrated. It's really tough. I'm gonna say he's overrated this year. Cantona. So we have 94 rated Cantona, 91 pace, 95 dribbling, 95 shooting. The five star skill moves. I'm gonna put him at underrated. I feel like this is one of the cards that you can get from like an icon SBC. If you pack this guy and you start using him, you'll be like, wow, this is an end card. Like I don't need to get a striker or a camel wherever you play this player. So I'm gonna put him into underrated for that reason obviously he's a very expensive player so he's coming in at like five and a half million but yeah this tier list is quite hard to figure out where we put them so next we have capita and i think this is going to be in the underrated section now the thing is if we didn't have this sense back meta i'd say he's kind of overrated because it, he's so expensive for just a right back but as I've said, so many people are playing right backs and left backs off chemistry in that sense back position. I think he'd be a really good sense back. So I'm going to put him in underrated for that reason. Roberto Carlos. Now, obviously a very small player, but you know, people don't really cross it that much this year. Um, if you're playing him just as a left back, I feel like he will fit into the average section because there are so many SBCs that we're going to see over the next month or so or next couple of months where they're going to have like high 90s in the pace and they're going to have similar defending stats and stuff. I just feel like for the cost, it's probably just going to be average. Petr Cech. Now, this one is our first goalkeeper, and goalkeepers this year are terrible. So many people just use the 82-rated Pope. So that just goes to show you, you don't need to rely on overall ratings. So I'm not going to put him in the discard section, um, but I will be putting him in the average section. I think even if you do get him in like a prime moments icon SBC, you're most likely just going to keep him in your squad and have you know him as a goalkeeper the whole you know the rest of the game basically. Whereas players like Baresi, you're going to pack and you're going to be like yep not using him you know what Ashley Cole this year I've also heard some great things but because he's a left back and I don't think he's going to be a big enough stature he's not going to have the body type to play centre back I think he's just going to be the left back I think he's just going to be average just he's going to be average unfortunately I would say that Crespo is one of those cards that he even if he is quite expensive he usually is worth how much he goes for so I'm going to put him in the underrated section we're kind of running out of space here but we are going to put him in the underrated section for that reason he's very good in game and the next one is going to be Johan Cruyff God tier 100%. I had his baby icon card from last year. I used it for most of the game. Um, his, his actual icons don't change that much from the base, middle, prime to prime moments. He has five star, five star on both cards or all of the cards, sorry. 92 pace, 96 dribbling, 95 shooting, 92 passing. Like this card is insane. Dalgleish is the biggest pain ever to play against. He's kind of like Butragreno. He's got that five-star weak foot. So annoying. I'm going to put him into underrated for that reason. Deco. Now, 100% Deco. If you packed Deco last year, his prime icon moments didn't get this much of a boost, but he's got much better shooting. I think he's got better dribbling as well. He's, he kind of fits between average and and discard, although I feel like I would try him. I'd try to play him for you know a few games just to see if I can get to grips with him. But his lack of defending stats makes him a bad centre mid and CDM, obviously. So you'd have to play him in the cam position. And I don't know if he can play that position very well because of the meta of FIFA 21. I'm going to stick to my guns. I'm going to put him in discard, although I have to say he is much better this year. Del Piero, another five-star weak foot player. You'll see this a lot in this list. When, it's, when someone has a five-star weak foot and they're an attacker, it means a lot. It means that they're so much more usable over a long period of time. I would put this card somewhere between overrated and underrated, or I do feel like he's, he's more towards underrated. The lack of pace though, 85 pace, it, it kind of is, is made up with that five-star weak foot. He's, he's got amazing dribbling. Finesse shots last year were incredible. I'd imagine they're also great this year. Next, we have Desai. Now, he has better pace than Campbell. He has the same kind of defending stats as Campbell. He's also a brick wall like Campbell. But the thing is, he is, I think, a little bit better. He's going to feel better on the ball dribbling-wise, so he's not going to make as many mistakes when it, when it comes to passing around the back and just generally holding the ball. I think he's going to go into overrated, which sounds like a bad thing, but it's not. It just means he's quite expensive for the card he is. He's not quite good enough to get into the underrated section. Drogba, Drogba, Drogba. Now, this is a card that we all wanted to see in FIFA, but he just doesn't play like he would do in real life. You know, he was a goal machine, but because dribbling is so important, the 84 dribbling isn't good enough. Obviously, you're going to score goals. If I pack this guy from an SBC, I would still use him, but at the same time, I wouldn't build teams around him. I'd get bored of him pretty quickly, so we're going to put him into average. SN. Now, this guy was part of the icon swaps last year, and I think it was the, either the baby or the mid. Maybe it was the prime, actually, but so many people had great things to say about him. Obviously, a great season. CDM or centre mid. I 
really feel like he would suit the meta this year of like a 4 one 2 one 2 with those three midfielders. So I'm going to put him into somewhere between overrated and underrated. I'm not sure. It really depends how much he costs. We're going to put him overrated. If he's less than 2 million coins, I'm going to put him underrated. Michael Essien is 2.6 on PlayStation and 2 million coins on Xbox. I feel like that's quite expensive. I don't know. Maybe I, I'm i going to leave him here just because we have barely anyone in this overrated section. Eto is another icon that just an absolute gold machine. And he's got 98 pace, 93 dribbling, 95 shooting. Is he going to go in overrated or is he going to go in underrated? There's no way that you can put this card down as average. And the way that I would really describe Eto, it's kind of like an Aubameyang on steroids, like a team of the season Aubameyang, because he's got the height. He's really tall, but at the same time, he's got very good dribbling, so fast, and because he's so tall, he's got that physical presence. So I will put him into underrated, although I imagine this card will cost a bomb. Let's have a look at how much Eto actually costs. It wouldn't surprise me if you see three or four million coins. Wow. 6 million coins, 4 million on the Xbox, well, 4.5. That's very expensive, but I'm putting him into underrated. He's a new icon. He's probably going to drop quite a lot over the next few weeks. Eusebio, it goes without saying, this is 100% a god-tier card. That five-star weak foot again, his dribbling is insane. And the thing about this card is his baby or his base card is better than his middle and I think his prime, or at least you can have a look on, on, on Footbin. His prices actually show that. Um, his base card is exceptional. Um, but this Prime Moments is definitely god tier. Ferdinand, now this card, 86 pace, only a little bit more pace than Desiree, but I am going to put him into underrated because his base card is so good and this card is just going to be better. It's not going to be good enough for god tier just because, especially the meta this year, right? I really, really liked the base Ferdinand from last year with Icon Swaps. It was one of the first Icon Swaps players you can get, and I just can't see this card being classed as overrated. Garincha. Now, this one is very tough because the five-star skill moves, I know quite a lot of people that used him last year, but I feel like he has dropped a little bit this year. Not as many people talk about him or use this card. He may have to go into the overrated section, although five-star skill moves is very useful. I don't know. I feel like overrated just off the back of last year's, you know, a lot of people using him last year. 98 dribbling, though. Can we really sleep on that? Let's have a look at how much Garincha costs. If he costs more than 4,000, 4 million, sorry, then it's going in over... So, yep, yeah, that's overrated. For me, how much that card costs... 100% overrated. Gattuso. Now, Gattuso is a weird card. Like, most of his cards are very similar. They just get a very small upgrade. In fact, I think his base card has better stats than his middle and his prime. But for me, he would go into the average category if I packed him or got him untradeable. I would still use him, but at the same time, I would want to upgrade him at some point. So he's going to go into average. Gerard as well, is going to be another one of those players that is average. He doesn't really fit the gameplay of FIFA 21. So yeah, I mean, it's, it would be nice to use his card, but he's also not, you know, bad enough to put into discard. Now, Giggs, I have a feeling that this card may be going into the discard section, and it's all because of the weak foot. When you get to a certain standard in FIFA, two-star weak foot, especially on an attacker, it really cripples the card's value and how good they they can be in game. Obviously, you've got players like Iron Robin, Iron Robin but they have the five-star skills. So I think this card may be going in discard. If I packed him, I'd probably use him for like three games, kind of like Deco, and then I'd realize he's not that good and he would be going into the reserve list, never to be seen again. Guardiola is a fantastic cheap base icon, but his prime icon moments... He's quite weak, you know, as, and you want him to play CDM because he has really bad shooting and his dribbling's not great. So I'm going to put this card into average. I would use him if I had him on tradable, but, you know, I'd still want to be looking for an upgrade at some point on this card. Rudhullet, obviously, you guys know this is 100% god tier without fail. He has everything. You could play this card as striker. You could play him as probably center back if you wanted. He can play anywhere on the pitch. So versatile. Haji 100% has been that underrated card that everyone sleeps on. Being a left mid is a weird position. It makes things harder when it comes to squad builders. He only has 84 pace. I don't know if I could be harsh enough to put him into overrated because I know he's quite an affordable prime icon moment. So I'm going to put him into underrated. Now Thierry Henry, although we know how good he was in real life, the lack of balance really does let him down. 97 pace, 83 dribbling, 95 shooting. But the thing is... His dribbling and his balance and all of that has had a massive upgrade on his card. And if you put an engine chem style on him, he should feel amazing 
But he's so expensive, so he's going to be going into overrated. Like, he is stupidly expensive. Like, I'd rather have an Eto for in-game than Thierry Henry. Hernandez, so 94 pace, 91 dribbling, 90 shooting. Definitely an affordable icon. I don't think he's on the same level as Crespo. I know that some people rave about him, but whenever I've used Hernandez's card... He just, it lacks something. It lacks a little bit of something. So he, he may even go into overrated just because I, I don't agree that he's that good. Like he's he's okay. He's a bit better than average. Or is he? Maybe he should go into average. You know what? I'm going to put him in average. Hierro. So this year he has a CDM card. Actually, I don't know if it was CDM last year, but 74 pace, 94 dribbling. You know what? As a CDM, he might be—he might get away with 74 pace. As a centre back, you're going to get crucified when it comes to online gameplay against the sweatiest of rats in the game. So he's going to go into average. I would try to use him a little bit, but uh, it wouldn't be long before we get him out of the team. And then we have Inzaghi, of course. It's going to be a discard player, unfortunately. 95 shooting is very good, but his dribbling's terrible, his pace is terrible, even his physicality and his passing. Everything else about the card is terrible, apart from his shooting. Kaka is a huge, huge card. 97 pace, 95 dribbling, 90 shooting, and the five-star skills. This year, there is potential to say that he could be a god-tier card. Are we going to do it? Can I say he's god-tier? You know what? Fuck it. We're going to say he's God tier. No, yes, 100%. Oh, no, I'm already regretting it. I'm already regretting it. I just feel like the God tier section should be only for God tier players. And he does have some problems with his card. Only very small little problems. I'm going to put him into underrated. I just feel like if I leave him in God tier, it just won't go down well, will it? It just won't go down. But his, his stats have been upgraded nicely. You know what? This Keen card is looking great as well. 77 pace, 89 dribbling. I'd rather have Keen over Hierro. I'd rather have Keen over Guardiola. Um, I, I do like this card, but there's no way it's going into the section up here with Thierry Henry, SEN, SIE, Blanc. No way. So he's going into average. Closer. So he's got 90 pace. Big pace upgrade there. But only 83 dribbling, 92 shooting, and 83 physical. I feel like I could make this card work. You'd have to play a very certain way to get him to work for you, but I feel like I can get him to work. I'm going to put him into average. I don't think he's quite a discard. Clivert. Now, Clivert this year has the five-star weak foot upgrade. That, for me, puts him instantly into the next set of tiers. So I think we're going to put him into underrated just simply because of the five-star weak foot upgrade. If you put an engine on him, his dribbling should feel quite good. Coman. So, obviously, sends back under 80 pace. That's no good. I think the best way to do this is start in a formation where you get him on full chemistry, then you make him your CDM. And at that point, he would be good as an average player. But I don't feel, I feel like overrated is a little bit too much of a steep upgrade for him. You know what? He could go into up. No, 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 no. He's going in average. Lam as a left back is a strange position. Well, it's not a strange position because that's where he had played, right? But the thing is, he does suit that CDM spot. He's quite a small player. But he, you know, he would be a great addition to the club, and I would enjoy using him in game. Um, I feel like overrated is the best for him. I know that some of you be thinking I'd struggle to put him into a team, but once you sort out, you know, a formation that you like, and then you just move him into that CDM spot, he'd be great for you. I feel like overrated is uh, where he deserves to be. So Lampard, and you know, dif the difference here between Lampard and Gerrard isn't massive. We're just going to put him into average, very similar in some ways. Larson, similar to Hernandez, is going to go into average. Not, you know, he's got some nice stats there but that again there's something a little bit missing about the card so there's no way he can go up into the Thierry Henry tier. Loud Drop's a strange one because he I feel like he plays really good in game. He only has 81 shooting uh, which it feels better. It's more like 85 shooting when it comes to gameplay and he's got great passing dribbling. He has a lot of great things going for him but uh, you know this tier is so there's so many great players in the tier above you have to be on that level to get him up there. Lineker as well 90 pace 88 dribbling 94 shooting. It's going to be average. Lippmanen now, this one is going to be a close one. Do we put him into discards? Do we put him into average? I feel like with that pace, 84 pace, 88 dribbling, he's usable. He's much more usable than I'd say Giggs, Inzaghi, Deco. Luis Figo. Now, again, I've heard great things, but does he go into overrated? Is he on this level? 93 pace. I feel, you know what? We're putting him into overrated. He's got 93 overall. I, I think that's the right spot to put him in. Makaleli, 82 pace he's a very small cdm 81 dribbling it's a very strange card it misses you know he, he can't really play sentiment he's not going to get forward and you know shoot very well i'm going to put him into average you know i just I just don't really see him as a great CDM. I think there's going to be a lot more choices for like a few hundred thousand coins that could be just as good as Makaleli. Maldini. Now this, 
is tough because FIFA 20 on FIFA 20 100% he's going god tier but because of FIFA 21 gameplay with the new centre back meta is he good enough to be god tier with 88 pace I think he is 71 dribbling is not bad 98 defending so you can put it all on pace you can put a shadow on him you can do what you want here um, you could even put the catalyst chem style I think it is where you get pace and passing uh, you can do so many things with this card I think he's worthy of putting into god tier the thing about packing this Maldini is there are a lot of these players below him even into the overrated section I would rather pack one of these untradeable than a Maldini untradeable just because there's more character about using an attacking or midfielder as opposed to a sense back but you know he is still god tier maradona is an absolute legend um but the thing is he does struggle with that weak foot and his dribbling's amazing but then again you can push him off the ball quite easily i'm gonna put him into overrated it's a very fun card to use um but yeah matthias 91 pace 90 shooting i feel like wait we've got balak in here would you say he's on the same level as Balak? Or would you say he's better than Balak? I think he is, but I think he's going to go into overrated. I don't think he's good enough for the underrated tier based on his price and how he plays in-game. Bobby Moore, unfortunately, you know, it's all about pace, isn't it? 71 pace, it's not good enough. He's got some great defensive stats. He's even got 81 dribbling, so his agility, his balance is pretty good for a centre-back, well, compared to the other centre-backs here. But if I packed him, I would struggle to use him in my weekend league team. Nakata, for me, you know what? This card... Although I'd be disappointed to pack him if I paid a lot for an SBC, and this is my untradeable icon moments, right? I would still try to use him now and again. I think he plays actually really good in game for his stats, but at the same time, he's not worthy of putting into discard. You would still use him occasionally, although, you know, after a month or two, maybe you'd be bored and you'd probably chuck him into another SBC to get another prime icon moments or something. So he kind of goes in between, but I'm going to be nice and put him into average. Nedved, I'm going to put. Well, he has a five-star weak foot, doesn't he? So he's going to be at least average, but is he worthy of overrated? I think there was a craze. I think it was a couple of years ago where people use Nedved quite a lot. Um, I'm going to put him into overrated now. I still think he's fantastic. And yes, this 4 one 2 one 2 meta with three center mids or even a four, you know, any kind of formation with three center mids, he can play that center mid position because he has 61 defending. He might not be the best, but it just means he's more versatile as well. So I'm going to put him into overrated, better than average. Nesta, you'll, you'll notice a lot of the discard players are defensive players and players that lack the pace. Nesta is one of those. I remember icon swaps from last year. So many people completed him. Whenever I saw him on my, on the, my opponent's team, I was like... This is going to be an easy game because anyone that picked him, for me, they just don't really defend as well. They don't use the the pace, the agility, the balance. So th that's just my honest opinion. Akotcha, now baby Akotcha was so expensive at the start of the year. We're talking like four, five hundred K because his baby card had five star skills. And then they nerfed the skill moves. So does he just fit into average? I think that he may just fit into average because he, he has okay, pace, like very good pace, not anything amazing, 89 pace, 88 shooting's okay. His dribbling's fantastic. I feel like average. I feel average is more suitable. Overmars. Now, Overmars is one of those cards that people sleep on just because he doesn't really have that character in game. He's just a small player with three star skills, five star weak foot, loads of pace, loads of good dribbling stats, but his shooting's really good. And I just feel like this card is slept on it's slept on because of the value we're going to put it all the way up into underrated because he fits the meta and that's what we're talking about gameplay we're talking about how they play in game not real life nothing like that okay michael owen he is definitely going to go into the average at least there is potential that he could be an overrated just because he has a big upgrade 94 pace 93 shooting and 90 dribbling i feel like it's fair to put him in there with all the other english icons pele is the only 99 rated card in the game i believe um apart from team of the years and stuff he's got to go into god tier although i would rather have an r9 ronaldo um it's only because of the five star weak foot if uh, pele had a five star weak foot i would rather have a pele it just shows you how important that is um, but he has everything that you would want man i packed this card in like 2015 you've probably heard it so many times but man that was a good day i wish i could pack him this year because it's so hard to pack them man petite now he is definitely average at least he may be going into the overrated section he may be going into underrated i feel like as the cheaper version of Vieira and people using attacking center mids a lot more and with his shooting stats his long shots his shot power is incredible i feel like 
underrated is better. Perlo, does he have the fight? I think he has five star skills. He's definitely usable. He's one of those icons that I would really enjoy using, but at the same time, I know that I'm not using the most meta and best for the gameplay, but I'd still enjoy using him. So we're going to put him into average. And Perez, I mean, Perez, because he has the pace and the dribbling on this card, he's going to go into average, but his other cards... They would, they would be into the discard section because he, he lacks so much. So, But this one we're going to be nice. Put him into average. Puskas. Now, this card is very expensive. It's new to the game. He has 99 shooting and 95 dribbling. But the thing is, when it comes to shooting stats, I feel like there's not going to be much difference between 99 shooting, 95, and 92. Like, once you get up to a certain stage, once you put that chem style on... There's not much else you can really do. Like you, you're already maxing out a lot of the finishing, the shot power stats and all of that. So I just feel like this is an overrated card based on the fact that he's got that 99 stat, but he won't, he, you know, he'll be great at shooting, but that's, that's pretty much, does he have the five star skills though? He has three star weak foot, four star skills. Will this card be fun? Will it be amazing in game? Yes, but the stats I think would be uh, just a little bit disappointed. I think it'd be overrated. Carlos Puyol. Now the thing is with Puyol, SBC at the moment, very good value. He has 75 pace, but apparently he does feel better than that in game. And I think I think I'm going to put him into average. Although it looks like I might be being biased here. You know, we've got Bressi here with only 74 pace, then we put Puyol in there with 75. 75. I just think that Puyol plays better than Baresi. If you disagree, you disagree. Raul, now I had the prime Raul last year and it's a very good card. He has exceptional balance. So his dribbling stats has high balance. He's definitely going to be into at least overrated, maybe even underrated. I feel like he's very similar to Crespo. He's been in the game for a while. He's known for quite a while. He doesn't have that hype of being a new icon. So he doesn't have a really big premium on his card. So for that reason, I think for value and for how good he plays in game, we're going to put him into underrated. Right card CDM. This is a fantastic card for me. I think we may be putting this into the overrated section. So if you compare him to the likes of Balak, he's got an extra 10 defensive stats. Um, he's a little bit slower, a little bit worse at dribbling, but this is going to be like your all-out CDM. This is going to be similar to a Petit, but not quite as good as Petit. When it, well, Petit's more attacking, right? But yeah, the problem with this card is it's going to be quite stiff. I think it's going to be even stiffer than Petit, even though Petit has 81 dribbling, Rijkaard has 82. I think Rijkaard is actually going to be worse when it comes to on the ball. Raquel May now... He does have five star skills. He does have 90 shooting. And I can't see what his dribbling stats are, but it's pretty irrelevant. I just think that with 72 pace on an attacker or a midfielder even, it's just not good enough. We're going into discard. Rivaldo is one of those cards that every year I have this feeling that I want to use this card. And then this year I've played against him a few times and he has been fantastic. So I'm going to put him into this section. He has four stats in the 90s. And uh, his weak foot doesn't feel as bad this year compared to last year. Like last year, two-star weak foots were unusable. Un you can't shoot with a two-star weak foot or three-star even. And this year, they're much better. So I'm putting him into overrated. Ronaldinho. Oh, man. This one is going to be so tough. Do we put him into underrated or do we put him into god tier? There's absolutely no doubt in my mind that he's a god tier player in real life. But does he play like that in, in, in FIFA 21? I would say so. He has his own animations. He's got five-star uh, skill moves. His weak foot is is because his shooting stats are so high, his passing stats are so high, it probably will feel like a five-star weak foot in a lot of situations. So I'm going to put him god tier. R9 Ronaldo goes without saying, the most desirable card on this game. Everyone wants an R9 Ronaldo. He just beat, like, he will score a goal in the game for no reason other than it's R9 Ronaldo. It just, it just falls on a plate for him. He just taps it in with whatever foot he wants. Rumi Costa, for me, very average. I think his stats, although they look good for the value, I, I cannot justify putting putting him into the underrated section because I think he doesn't play as well in game as what you might think. So I'm going to put him into average. Ian Rush with that five star weak foot. Same pace as Rui Costa, similar dribbling, but he's going to be more of a striker with the better shooting. Is he going to go into overrated? I don't think he's overrated because he's not that expensive. So I'm actually going to put him into underrated. Schmeichel, of course, same as Petr Cech. It's a goalkeeper. It's going to be a very good goalkeeper. But the goalkeeper and the differences between the goalkeepers, it makes not a lot of difference. So we're just going to put him in average because I will use him. But uh, he's not going to be quite discard. Scholes is going to be discard, though. Lack of pace, lack of defensive stats, lack of physicality, great shooting, okay-ish dribbling. It's just... He doesn't play in this game very well. Schweinsteiger. Now, this is uh, a very strange card in the sense that he has a big difference between his base, his mid, his prime. and But the prime moments, this, have, this is a fantastic card. The question is, 
Is he overrated? Is there a bit too much hype around this card? 77 pace, 89 dribbling, sorry, 89 defensive stats, uh, 87 dribbling. I feel like it's a, it's a very complete card. I think I'd rather have a Schweinsteiger over a Balak, even though he has less pace, just because I don't even know. You know what? I can't even describe to you why, because I'm looking at the stats now. Well, he has got the better defensive stats than Balak, but I think... I think I would rather have this Schweinsteiger over a Balak. Next, we have Socrates. Now, I remember when this card came into the game and everyone, a lot of people used him. It's like six foot bloody ten or something, but no, not really. But he's very tall and um, it's, I don't know if he'd really fit the meta right now. I think the dribbling, I don't, I think overrated. I think we're going to put him into either average or overrated. I think overrated is the best one. Now, Seedorf, you can't see his dribbling stats, but uh, this card is a fantastic card. I think it would be, for a prime moments though, with 69 defending, I think he's going to fit into average rather than overrated and underrated because he is quite expensive. You know, you can't put him into underrated, so he's got to go into average. Alan Shearer as well, he's going to be average. You can use him. You might not enjoy using him because of the lack of dribbling, but you can use him. So many of these English icons are either discard or in average. It's it's very frustrating, but it is what it is. Shevchenko, 92 rated overall. He's a tall player. The 89 dribbling will feel worse than 89 dribbling. I'm going to put him into average, although, you know, he's one of those cards that you'd pick up, try for a weekend, and you'll go, yeah, he's okay, but then you'll sell him and get another one. Sanchez. So, this is the card that has, like, really, really bad composure on his, like, base and prime and middle card or something. It's a very weird one, but he's got 95 pace, 93 dribbling, 96 shooting. Compare that to Hernandez over here. I think that He's either going to be average or overrated. I think overrated is the spot for him. And Stoichkov, 93. Got 94 pace, 94 dribbling. Oh, this one has got to be... He's got to be underrated. I feel like this is a card that should get more praise because it is a beast of a card. He's, he's also got the physical stats with all of those things as well, with the dribbling, the passes. He's, he's a very complete striker or a cam or a left wing or a right wing. So we're going to put him into underrated. Fernando Torres, for me... 100% he is going to be underrated. He's not god tier, absolutely not god tier. But at the same time, he's uh, if you use this end of era card or whatever it was called, the flashback cards on FIFA 19, fantastic. Absolutely incredible card. Tresegay, oh man, do we put him into discard? He's got 83 pace, he's got 84 dribbling. I really like this card. I scored my one of the nicest scorpion kicks ever with this card on FIFA 20. So for that reason, he's going in average, although he's right at the bottom of average. Suka, returning icon. He used to be a legend in previous FIFAs. I feel like he's not good enough for underrated. Uh, there's going to be some hype on him this year. I don't think he's bad value, but I do think he might be overrated in the sense of have a look at the players in this underrated section. Do you think he's good enough to be on the same level as these players? I don't know. I don't know. I, maybe, you know what? We'll put him into underrated because he is he is returning and he's very good. I remember when Van Basten used to have one of the best shooting stats in the game. And uh, obviously he lacked some things, but... I don't know. I think overrated is the best section. I'm not saying he's bad. Um, he's not really that expensive, but overrated in the sense of he's 94 overall. He's got 92 dribbling. It doesn't feel like that good in terms of the dribbling. His uh, shooting's very good, and you know he'd win a lot of headers if the meta suited that, but the gameplay doesn't really suit him. Van der Sar as well, we're going to put into average. Van Nisselrooy, we're going to put into average. 94 shooting, 87 dribbling. Yeah, and Veron. 91 overall, where do we put him? I, I think it's only fair to put him into average. Look, if we're going to put uh, Balak in average, Varon has also got to be in average. I'd say Balak's better than Varon. Vidic, you know, definitely a very usable card. 80 pace, 95 defending. Um, does he go into overrated? You know what? I think, is he better than Campbell? That's the question. I think he's better than Campbell. He doesn't have the same pace, but he's got better turning abilities and... I think I think he will be. Patrick Vieira. Now, this is another tough one. The question is, is he God tier? Or is he just gonna be in underrated? There's you know what? There's no way you can call this card underrated. Everyone wants this card as their main CDM. Uh, the, the middle version of this Vieira card is one of the most desired like cards from the start of the game. I'm gonna put him into God tier. Vieri here again is a usable card, um, much more usable than in Xagi. Uh, but he's definitely going to be in the bottom area of this. And Ian Wright as well. I mean, even Vieri has better dribbling than Ian Wright. So that just goes to show you. He does have good pace, 91 pace, but he's going to be in the average. And Xavi, very fun player to use, 
Passing is actually important in this game, but at the same time, it's very automated. It's very AI based. I feel like overrated is probably the best section to put him in. Although these tiers are getting really confusing because I would rather pack a Balak than a Xavi. But at the same time, I think Xavi is overrated, whereas Balak is kind of like where he should be, if that makes sense, in terms of price to value. Yashin is going to be the best goalkeeper, in my opinion. And if he comes with a hat in the game, then th this is going to be better than average. I'm going to say I'll be mildly, uh, very mildly happy if I got him. Obviously, it wouldn't be that fun because it's just a goalkeeper. But we're going to put this one goalkeeper in overrated. Zambrotta, oh my god. Five-star weak foot on this player again. Can you play him centre-back though? I think you could play him centre-back. I think he's better than average just because of the versatility. You can, you know, if you get an, another right back untradeable, just play him in the left back position off chemistry with that five star weak foot. He's kind of similar to Mendy. Is he overrated? No, he is underrated. Zanetti has been killed by his position. I don't know why. Well, obviously he played there in real life, but 87 pace, 90 defending. If he was a CDM, he would be much, much better. Um, I think I'm going to put him into average for that reason. Oh, Zidane, Zidane, Zidane. Without a doubt, he's going up to this section. But the question is, is he overrated? Because he's very expensive. He's five star, five star. No way, guys. No way. I, I might have fooled you there, but 100% going into God tier. Imagine having these three as your sentiments. Rud Hullet, Zidane, and Vieira. I'm sorry, but it's game over. It's game over. And lastly, we have Zola. I feel like he is... I feel like it's, it's so bad to call him average because he's a little bit better than average. But at the same time, is he on this level of being overrated? I think... There was a craze for a lot of people used him a couple of years ago and it's kind of died out a little bit. I'm going to say overrated because of that craze and because of that hype and it's it's all changed basically. So that's going to be all 101 icons done. You can see that is a big list. Let's zoom out a little bit so you can see them all in the tier sections. Bloody, that actually took a long time, a longer amount of time than I, I predicted. But if you disagree with any of these, uh, let me know in the comments what you disagree with. Um, this tier list is very hard to do when you have like underrated, overrated and average because there are some players that are just really expensive that are really good. So there might be some players in this list that play better than the underrated ones, but that's why we've got these different names for it. Anyway guys, if you've enjoyed this tier list, make sure you drop a like on the video. It's greatly appreciated. They do take some time to put these together. Do you know what? I actually had to rip all of the pictures off Footbin, all 101 icons, upload them to this website just to do this uh, tier list. So if you can smash the likes, that'd be greatly appreciated. And if you want to subscribe, that would also be quite helpful. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.